Welcome to a new video on this channel. In this short episode, I will show you how you can chart some data from a database. So in this example, we have a table of sensor values and would like to chart those values on a line chart. So we get this exact result. Before we dive in, I would like to announce the newly created Discord server. If you would like to talk to different people in this community about Nordred in general, help fix some issues or get help for your own issues, or maybe give some new video ideas, please feel free to join the community. The link to the server is in the description down below. So the first step is to install the required nodes. You can go to the burger menu, manage palette, install, and then we need to install two nodes. The first one is going to be the dashboard node. I'm using dashboard version one here. If you want to see a video on the dashboard version two, please let me know in the comments. All right, and then other thing is that we need to connect to the database. So we will need the MySQL database connection. And once that is installed, we can start coding. First of all, though, I would like to show you my database setup. So in here, you can see that I have a database with one table called sends your values. And this table has three columns, an ID, a value and a timestamp. And what I would like to do is to display a time series of the values so that the timestamp is the X axis of a line chart and the values are the Y values. So that's the goal here. So first we will configure the dashboard. So I would like to have one tab and one group. The tab is called DB and the group is going to be sensor values. All right. And now if we deploy that, we should see an empty dashboard when we go to the specified link. Okay, so the first thing is that we want to load the data from the database and we will do that using a dashboard button. So here we will make sure that it's in the correct group. We want to give it an icon. I'm going to use the refresh icon as that's exactly what this button does. The label is going to be refresh data and tool div is load data from database. And that's all we need to do right here. And now if you go to the dashboard again, you can see this button right here. So the next step is to select the data in the database. Do that using a function node. And in here you can specify our query. All right. So the name of the function is going to be get sensor values. And in here we need to specify the SQL query in the msg.top. So msg.topic is equal to, now the string select all the columns from the sensor values table, just like that. And then the last step to read the data is the connection to the database. So use the MySQL connection and inject our query into it. And now we have to configure our connection. The name is relevant. The host is the IP address of the database. In my case, I'm using a Docker Compose environment. So the host name is just MySQL as that's the name of my database. If you're not using Docker, it's just the IP address of the machine running your SQL database. Now the user, I'm using root here just for simplicity. If you're using a database in a productive environment, I encourage you to use a different user, my password. And lastly, the name of the database. In my case, that's development. And then that's it. And now if we deploy, you should see here that it is connected. If there is some issue with the configuration, you should see a error code right there. And we deploy. And now in the dashboard, we can click the refresh button. We expect to see the same data as in the database. So let's check. ID1 has a value of 2.5. That's correct and we have four values with three columns each. And that's exactly what we get here. All right, now the next step is to use a chart to display this data in a time series. So we'll use a chart node first. And the label is gonna be just values. I would like to use a line chart. I don't need the seconds and I would like to show a legend so we can specify what the values are exactly. And then we have here a blank label. Here we can 
specify text that is shown if there is no data in the chart. So here I just mostly just type no data available just to make it clear to the user that there is no data currently. What I also like to do is to add a delete button. So this just allows the user to fully reset the data in the chart. So here the icon is going to be a trash can. The label is the delete chart data. Delete data in chart. And whenever I'm deleting something, I like to add a red background so it's just clear what is happening. And now in order to delete the data, you can go to the chart documentation or go to the help tab. And down here you can see that inputting an empty array into the payload will clear the chart. So that's exactly what we do here in the payload. We select a JSON and just add an empty array. And now in the dashboard, we should see the chart right here with our text and then the delete and the refresh button. Okay, now before we move on, I would like to style it a bit more. So I'm gonna go to dashboard and layout and I'll make it all a bit bigger. Make sure that the chart is on top and I would like to move those two buttons next to each other just so we don't waste that much space on the button width. So that's now our setup. Okay, now the last step remaining is to actually convert the data from the database that we have in this array so that the chart can understand it. To figure out how that works, you can click on the chart node again, go to help, and down here you will see this information link. And if you click on it, you get to this node red dashboard charts documentation. And if you scroll down to the storage data line charts, you can see exactly what you need to do in order to display this data. So what's important here is the series and the data. So series specifies different lines in the plot. As we only have one value, we will just add one series here. And then the data is one array of objects for each series. As, you, as we only have one, we just need to specify one array with objects and each object needs to have an x and then a y value and in our case x is the timestamp and y is the sensor value so now we can convert that and maybe use a function node for that we inject the output of the uh, database connection to the function and then inject the output of this function directly into the chart okay so the function is called plot data First, we need to load the data from the database. So the input is just the message.payload values. Next, I would like to create an empty data structure like this one. So create empty chart object. So we will add values to it afterwards. So I will use a variable here. And this is now an array of an object and it's going to have series which is an array of strings then we have data which is an array of arrays and then the labels which is also an array of strings so as i said before the series is the name of the data so in our case it's going to be sensor values now we need to inject our database values here into this data array right there. So that's the last thing we have to do. So fill chart checked with data. And now we're going to loop through these input values, so through this entire array. So for let item of imp. So this item is now going to be one of the, those objects. So in the first iteration, item.id is id1 and item.value is 2.5. And those we now need to add into this array here. So we specify out object, then index zero. So now we are in this object right here. Then we would like to change the data. So now we are in here. And now we would like to do something to the first array. So that's gonna be index zero of this data object 
and in here we would like to push some new data. And as we've seen before, we need to add some uh, JSON objects. So we do that with the curly braces. Now we specify both X and Y. So X is going to be item.timestamp. So item.timestamp, the first iteration is exactly this value. And then on the Y axis, we add item.values. And then if you do this for every database, row we get the entire data plotted in our chart and lastly we just need to output this object so message.payload is equal to out object and that's all that we need to do here so let's try this out so now that we are in the dashboard we can refresh our data we can see the exact values so we have 2.5 1.7 5.8 and 0.9 and that's exactly what we get right here and now if you want to delete it we can delete that and this will just reset the chart and not the database and when we click on refresh again we will get the values back so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and see you next time